It's 4.30 on a Thursday afternoon, and it's time for a set change. Pillars of Society is showing, and there's no time to waste. It's actually a teeny bit too tight right here, so okay. just maybe loosen that a little bit. From costume fittings to makeup, these actors are in show mode. Knowing guests are anxiously waiting. But before we get to Act One, let's tell you why more and more seats are filling up at the Commonweal Theater. Since the company was created in 1989, the theater has seen tremendous growth. It started as a summer program, and its first season brought in 3,000 people. This year, 13 years later, with nearly 200 shows, over 21,000 people will buy tickets. Thank you. This theater is run differently than most you'll find across the country. That's because the actors here don't just do a few shows and skip town. It's their full-time job to help run this place. Team manager, staff writer, development officer and then occasionally light bulb changer, floor sweeper, and whatever else needs to be done. A jack of all trades, you could say. One of them is Scott Dixon, who says his career took a positive turn when he came to Lanesboro. When I first arrived, I thought I was just gonna be here for a short time, that it was gonna be another 12 weeks, uh, you know, living out of my suitcase, and then I'd head on to whatever next job was gonna be, and then it's turned out to be 12 years. Currently, there are 12 employees working for the company on a full-time basis year-round, serving both artistic and administrative responsibilities. This enables us to pay them a living wage. This really is a way to have a life in the theater and to make a life in the theater. Allowing actors like Dixon to fully immerse themselves into the craft they're so passionate about. It's home. We've chosen to, to build our homes here. A lot of my closest friends are people that are audience members that I've met over the years. Their passion reaches beyond the audience. It brings many, many visitors to Lanesboro. We're a town of 754 people, and we've got a professional theater company that, that is recognized across the country. Let's get back to the show. When you speak, I see beautiful things. Many say the quality of the productions draws them back. Well, that's one piece of good news. We love it because it's so intimate. They make it come so alive and so real. But you don't have to go to a large city to find quality professional theater. Executive Director Hal Kropp says that's one of the major misconceptions of small town theater. They walk in, they see the quality of the production, and they walk out and go, wow, wow, that's really good theater. That's as good as we've seen and fill in the blank. The Guthrie, Broadway, Off-Broadway, London, you know, we've, we hear that all the time. Crop says theater life here is just as grueling as in the big city. Actors work five, six days a week and pull 10 plus hour shifts. The goal isn't just to attract more people, it's to tell a good story to those who are willing to listen. It's about connecting with community and helping to broaden people's perspectives just a little bit. In Lanesboro, Ellery McCardle, ABC6 News.